How to use aloe vera to treat diabetes. Before using aloe vera to combat diabetes, it's advisable to consult with a specialist to see whether using it would interfere with any other treatment. Aloe vera is a natural remedy that gained its good reputation for relieving various illnesses long ago. In today's video, we're going to tell you how to effectively use aloe vera to treat diabetes. Different studies carried out on humans and on animals show that aloe vera reduces blood glucose levels in just two months. And the results appear in patients who don't need to use insulin as well as those who are insulin dependent. In addition, when used externally, aloe is great for skin care and for avoiding the consequences of diabetic foot. However, remember that if you have this disease, you must also follow a proper diet and exercise. And don't hesitate to consult your doctor if you have any doubts or before trying any alternative treatment so that he or she can supervise you. Why Aloe Vera is Good for Combating Excess Blood Sugar The aloe vera plant contains several substances that help improve the health of people who suffer from diabetes. Consuming it reduces blood glucose levels while controlling the blood sugar spikes that diabetic patients can have throughout the day. Amidon is the active ingredient in aloe vera and has hypoglycemic properties. It also provides two types of fiber, mucilagin glucomenin, which, in addition to causing satiety help regulate the absorption of sugar. In turn, it is also rich in fructose which is a form of sugar present in vegetables and is absorbed slowly. So, it prevents hyperglycemia. A plant that supplies minerals to regulate glucose levels. Aloe vera, in addition, is a plant that contains minerals that people who suffer from diabetes can benefit from. These include chromium, which tends to normalize blood sugar levels in addition to contributing to the generation of insulin. Manganese, which is of vital importance in the production of natural insulin. Magnesium, which diabetic patients lack. How to properly consume aloe vera to treat diabetes. For aloe vera to be effective in treating diabetes, make sure it's as pure as possible. Therefore, it's always better to use the plant directly than to buy products that have been made with this substance. If you have a garden, then that's great. If not, don't be discouraged. A balcony or a window are always useful to place a flower pot on. The recommended dose is 2 tablespoons per day 30 grams of the gel, which the aloe vera leaf contains. If you take this dosage, then you'll be able to reduce your blood sugar levels by up to 50% in two months. If you're lucky enough to have the fresh aloe leaf, just wash it well and extract the amount of gel you need to consume. Then wrap the sheet in a film and store it in the refrigerator. Treatment for diabetic foot with aloe vera. Beyond the great benefits that its internal use brings to people with diabetes, aloe vera is also a fundamental ally in treating problems such as diabetic foot. This disease can cause you to lose feeling in your feet because of the damage that occurs in the nerves in that area. This may cause the diabetic person to be unable to perceive that they've been hurt and or that they have a cut, a blister or a sore. If they're not treated on time, these lesions often cause ulcers and infections. However, if the patient consistently applies aloe vera gel on their feet daily, this will remarkably reduce your risk of suffering from this condition. Among the benefits of using aloe vera gel on your feet are the following, it keeps skin hydrated. Aloe vera promotes healing. It soothes the pain. It prevents the appearance of cracks. Aloe vera should be applied with a gentle massage. Avoid getting it between your toes because it's possible for fungus to appear if this area remains wet.